Your exposure to Rupert Murdoch would have prepared you pretty well for the next Rupert, Johan Rupert. Well, you know, the families knew each other anyway. And Johan was looking for a third leg to his business. He had tobacco, cash generative, luxury goods, big success. And that was his success, not his dad's. And he said, I need a third leg to the business. And I think it's pay television and media. And he got me to come present to his board in Switzerland. Here's a 31-year-old with an inkling of knowledge about media, presenting the future of media to mainly Swiss lawyers. And they looked at me like I was completely insane. I was talking about holograms and <laughs> multi-channel television. And I was talking about something that resembled the internet. And Johan got it. I mean, he saw the future. He feels like he's the smartest guy in the room. And he often is. That's the thing. You know, Johan is an acquired taste. I respect and admire him and like him very much. And I've become a great friend of his. But he is also an extraordinary businessman. You know, his attention to detail is second to none. He is an extraordinary man. Johan doesn't seek to be well-connected. He's not selling anything. But he does attract people. He's got a character that's an acquired taste. I've definitely acquired it. And he's fascinating to be with. But what he does have <laughs> is something no one else has. No one else. The best pro-am golf tournament in the world. This moment of clarity comes from one of thousands of interviews you'll be able to access by downloading the free biznews.com app in the Apple or Google Play app stores.